Hey folks. Okay, this is going to be something I really should have done a while ago, but I completely forgot about. This is going to be how to make your own pots for putting seedlings in. You would you would use these, fill it with soil, put in a seed, poof, done. This could then be planted straight into the ground with no messing around. You don't have to transfer anything. It's got its own little pot. So if you don't want to buy those mass-produced qua things, then this is a good, a, a cheaper alternative because you'll have these anyway. So yeah, I'll show you how to make them. Okay, so what you're going to need is some to toilet rolls, tape measure, scissors, a pen, and some space. Um, later on, you'll also need a bowl with some water in. I'm not going to do that part because it's messy and I'm by my computer. But that's what I'll show you how to do it. So don't worry about the size of your toilet roll. I mean, I've got two different sizes here. Basically, uh, the only problem that you're going to have is that if you've got larger seeds like pumpkins or melons or anything like that, you want a larger one if you can get them. Otherwise, small ones are fine. Don't worry about it. So I'm going to show you what you do now. Okay, all you need to do is just to take one of your uh, rolls and you want to squish it down flat so it's absolutely flat. If you can, make the sides quite crisp if you can. And then what you want to do is you want to fold it again so that it folds flat. You want to make it as tight as you can. Obviously, don't, don't break your back doing it as tight as you can and then what you're going to do is you're going to open it up and it should form into some kind of a square not perfect close enough so once you've got the square what you want to do is you want to flatten it again and you want to pull it into its quartered size okay now what we're going to do is you're going to measure that so that's, what is that, uh, three centimetres. Three centimetres, that is. So what we're going to do now is we're going to measure three centimetres from the bottom. And if you mark on each of the four corners, let's flip it over. If I had a pen that worked, it would be even better. And then what we're going to do is we're going to open it up a little bit. We're going to take the scissors and you're going to cut that line there to around about the, 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 where the mark is. Don't worry if it's a little bit more or a little bit less. It's not the end of the world. Just as close as you can. Okay. So... There we go, all four. There we go, all four sides. Like that. Okay, now that we've got all four, what you want to do is you want to take the opposing sides and fold them in. Start with two in the centre, and then fold over the last two, like that. Now, what you would normally do with a uh, a bowl of water is you would just dab in the bottom so that the bottom of this got wet. You don't have to soak it for hours, you just want it so that it goes in the water enough that it gets wet and it will start to, st once all this is uh, dried off, it will actually go solid like this. I mean this is it's quite solid and that's perfectly fine. Once you've filled that with soil in there, that will be enough so that you can carry on from there. Twelve seconds later. Okay, so now with the joys of internet, I have filled up three of these, the three that I had already made up. I'm now going to put in the seed. What you want to remember is if you do something like this, 
is don't fill it right to the edge. You always want to leave an edge because these will start collapsing in time. The other thing is, if you find that you don't want to make them so large, you can cut them down. You can only make them this, but make sure you already create the bottom part before you start cutting the top. Otherwise, you, you might not get it all suitably big enough. Also, be aware that the, the roots of any plants will grow out the sides. So don't worry about it. That's, that's, that's the whole point of these, is that the roots will happily grow out of them. And that's it. Once, once your seedling has started to come up, this can be planted straight into the ground. You don't have to mess around. You can literally just, just claw out some space, put it in the ground and form it up around it. And this will just rot in place. Absolutely brilliant. And that's it. And that's that. So I'm just going to put some seeds in all these and then we're going to go. And that's it. So that's it. Okay. Have fun, guys. Bye-bye.